Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In last video, I have shown you how to use functions inside set modifier. Today we will continue the same topic and we will see another example. In the last video, we saw an example where we found out countries having sales more than 10 million. Today we will see an example where we will display or we will create a table to show top 10 brands or top n number of brands where n is the variable selected by the user. So we will see this example based on brand. I will delete this table now and here in this table I will replace country with brand. Say we want top 10 brands by total sales. So to do that, first of all, I will create another expression here and I will say sum of sales and I will find out a rank of total sales. So this is how I will get numbers based on total sales rank and our objective is to find out top 10 brands. So the top 10 brands here are this top 10 based on total sales. So the top 10 brands are this. So this top 10 brands I want to show in this straight table using the set analysis. Again same as last video I will create another expression and I will say rank sum of sales less than equal to 10. So wherever we have brand which is falling under top 10 rank I will get minus 1. Minus 1 means true in click or you can say anything apart from 0 is always true in click and 0 means false. So to get the same result in a right hand side table I will copy this rank function and then inside the set expression first of all I have to use brand here and here I will replace this expression. So this set modifier with function will give me members which are falling inside this criteria. If you haven't gone through with the previous video I will strongly recommend you to go through that video first because I have explain how this is working and now we are getting top 10 brands. Say user want to enter number and based on that number user want top brands. To do that I have to create one variable I will say v top and then I will use and from click dashboard bundle I will use this variable input and in variable input I will use variable vtof here and I will use input box here and here I will say enter value and I also have to give default value to this variable so so I will say default value as 10 and now I will go here and instead of 10 I will say v top and the same I have to do here on the right hand side table. So here I will say v top. So now when user will enter anything, so say 15, we will get top 15 brands here. You can see we are getting top 15 and we can change to 5 and we will get top 5. So this is how we can handle this. So hope this is clear that how we can use functions inside set modifier to get our 
desired result. I will come back with few more videos on set analysis. Till then, thanks and have a great day.